coming in to do a quick video of sitting outside. It's a beautiful day here in Atlanta, so I wanted to sit here and do this video. Um, but I wanted to do, I said I would do a video on pros and cons of my first year of being natural. Um, some things that I wish I had done and some things that I um, wish I had not done. Although I must say, I don't think there any, there's any, nothing that um, I did that I wish I had not done. Um, with my hair being natural but anyway so I'm gonna start from some things that I wish that I'm going to definitely improve on for the next year of my hair of me being natural one is um, a trim I did not get a trim every three to four months like I should have and I noticed it a lot because I get split ends real easy and it seems like I have a lot of them um, when I look at it and I have those knots the single strand knots um, I had a lot of those as well so I didn't um, trim like I should have I only did two trims the entire year and I probably should have got at least two more in there but um, now I know and I noticed that after I did the trim my hair would be a lot better so definitely I would do I'm gonna do my trims more often I'm gonna do them at least four a year every three months or like maybe once a quarter I'm gonna make sure I have a trim done in my hair okay although my hair grows well like it's right there um, and that's pretty good but you know if a lot of that is split then um, then it doesn't matter so I don't retain length that well that's what I've noticed so I have to work on that um, that's one thing I really want to work on for my hair in the next year just really retaining the length and getting it to go past um a certain level that i noticed that it stops at a lot so even when i wasn't natural my hair would only go to a certain point and it stopped but i had a lot of spin ends then too and i pressed my hair uh hot curlers a lot um so anyway but anyway i've learned from that so i would definitely do a trim more often once a quarter and the other thing I know that when I started off being natural, I stuck with the routine. I was on a routine, routine, routine. I noticed that as I got a little bit more comfortable with it, my routine stopped. Um, I would, I would wash once a week. Um, I would moisturize regularly. I would do all of that, and I noticed I stopped. And I did though realize that washing my hair every two weeks would be better than once a week. My Hair tends to do better with a little bit of dirt in it, just my opinion, and a little bit of oil in there um, on my scalp or whatever. It, it seems to do a lot better when it's not as freshly washed. So my twist outs and everything come out better on older hair than newly washed hair. But anyway, so I would stick to my routine of washing every two weeks and deep conditioning every time I wash. Um, I, I slacked on that as well. So that's the third thing that I would do uh, differently would be, um, I had it written down, moisturize more. I really slacked on that too. I would moisturize, you know, in the morning, one morning, and then maybe two days later I would say, oh, I need to moisturize, moisturize again. I didn't do it on a daily basis. and. And I don't think I used enough either when I did moisturize. You know, I would put some on. I was trying not to be product heavy, but I think my hair um, works a little bit better when it has a little bit more product in it than what I was putting in there. Uh, I was heavy on the oils, but I wasn't as heavy on the moisturizers um, that I used. So I would do that too. That's the other thing. And that kind of fits in with my regimen as well. And washing and definitely moisturizing moisturizing every day and maybe even sometimes twice a day if I need to but I notice my hair responds better when I do that um and I think that's it for oh um the other thing too that I noticed I won't go back to gels I, when I got to butters when I first when I was first natural I used a lot of gels but then when I got into the butters I can't go back to gels I don't like them and I do I still use echo for if I, you know, slick my hair back, I still use Echo for that. Still like it. But for my washing goes and stuff, definitely um, can't go back to gels on that one. Things that I want to um, have an kind of figure out, my hair in the front, I've said this before, it, it frizzes 
it gets frizzy. Like, like here, like this little strand here. I twisted my hair on last night and I took it out. I just, you know, did something because I was tired of that messy braid out that I had. Um, but I, I, I put a lot of moisturizer on it and I put some, um, I used Afroveda. I can't remember what it's called, but anyway. But the everything else, you know, I think it turned out pretty good. The twist held and everything, but in the front, when it came apart, it came apart as a big frizz. All of these were frizzy. So I ended up just twisting them back and just kind of keeping them in there. And from a distance, you can't really tell that these are twisted and these are not, or maybe so. But anyway, but so that's that's the mystery of my hair. I want to figure out is why the front it just I can't I can't get it to hold a twist. It won't hold anything. It as far as products, um, I still use Hydrothermal Natural. Still love it. Wouldn't trade it. That's one of my staples. It's gonna stay. Um, I use Afro Afroveda. I still like them. I'm, I'm not crazy about the price, but what I have figured out is that it works for me. And if it works for me, I'm gonna I'm gonna get it. Um, I also use Jane Carter. I've tried a couple others. I did the shade moisture, and I did like it. Um, I'm trying to think of some others. Oh, for my shampoos, the Giovanni um, deep, deeper, deep conditioner or the deeper moisture shampoo and conditioner. I did those for my deep conditioners. I used the Hydrotherma Naturals line, her deep conditioners, and I liked those. Mm. And that's it. I didn't really, I wasn't really a product junkie. I may be a little bit more this year than I was last year. I was a little afraid. I wanted to kind of stick with some stuff that I liked and worked. But I might try some other things. One thing that I made sure of in all of my products, I tried to stick with things that had no mineral oils, um, petroleum, that kind of stuff. I am particular about that. I won't do that. And I'm going to stick with that for sure. So, but anyway, that's just my little tidbit on my first year being natural. And um, I hope it helps somebody. Bye.